Shelter? Yeah, we'll check this out along the way to finding the girl. Is it along the way? It is now. Wait, what did you even default to me? Yes. It's just that it was telling me to go to somewhere else. Lost me for a second. Green shine! A place to rest. I mean, yeah, but what was over there? The officer in my mat said someone in their crew ran off in this direction. I should keep my eyes open. Ah. Uh, Stay back. Well, maybe we gotta go now. I think she's gonna need some backup. Oh! You think I'm afraid of you? I still had that brace shot thing. Wait, that was the machine that was. That symbol is that for the machine or her? It's for the machine. What is she doing to the machines? That's giving that symbol. Is it safe? Did they get to it? Please be intact. Please. I should make sure she's okay. She's running off. She was carrying something important, right? But then someone at the camp was snooping on her. And she got... freaked out. What was that thing? What is my status right now? I'm shaken. Like, what is happening? Does she have some... technology skill? Hey, what is that machine? One, four, two, four, Supply drop. Alright, why oh. are the spike is still intact? Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike but the message is only a fragment and you're trying to pick up the whole thing how did you figure all that out i've learned a few things in my travels <laughs> if you want we could talk about it maybe i can help you do seem downright knowledgeable so go ahead Shoot. I feel like we just successfully used our old world knowledge to pick up a girl. <laughs> okay, let's let's start here. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew with one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow... At least out here, I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Helps that we're a girl too, and we know a lot. I can share my knowledge with you. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly. And I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, 
I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile when he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah, so am I. <sighs> Blast it all. I hope you got to make up before you passed on. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. <laughs> and you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. Sounds familiar. <laughs> I love that you could tell that's what Aloy was thinking by her smile. I love that. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Let's try to find out more then. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. One more day behind me. Uh, and then please, just don't break anything. <laughs> If I still had my bag of focuses with me, Fokai? I wish we could give her one. I know it's kind of, you know, like top secret information, but she seems like someone who would, who would really appreciate having that sort of uh, knowledge and technology. No, oh, you get to live. Now I can pick up everything. Better get climbing. For some reason, there just happens to be some grapple holds here. Gotta give her credit, lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Right. She does everything by herself. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. But look at her. She got stuck because she. There's only so much one person can do. Maybe something to keep in mind, huh? Whoa. Enduring victory. Interesting. Can't seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. Is that related? You better not make me go down and then come back up again, just to go a little bit further. Cluster.
Oh, sh am I dumb? Am I like actually dumb? There's no, I'm going back up. <laughs> I didn't see the the line there. I could have just taken it. I really like this awesome outfit. I keep looking at Aloy in the cutscenes and I'm like, oh my god. How is Aloy so freaking cute? <laughs> I don't know what people were complaining about with um, the new more detailed facial model and whatever. Y'all just have no taste. <laughs> no! Oh, come on! There we go. This ought to be a good shortcut. If only I didn't have to go back up and then, you know, try to go, <laughs> try to slide down again. Fantastic. I'm back. Your rig is picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during... A, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's... Something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh, I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? I'd try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakht and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message, then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller, the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Hmm. Huh. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind near a place I'm... Uh, Camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Oh. Silga. And when you find it, Aloy, I'd be eager to hear what it is. Oh, I kind of feel like we're bonding a little bit. Someone who's a little bit similar to me. Bit of an outcast? Yeah, she's an outcast because she's a woman. Uh, awesome woman who's very talented, and I'm an outcast because I'm an outcast. Uh, just now in that conversation, Silga was opening up a little bit, being like, Oh, this kind of reminds me, this sad message reminds me of my brother. And then Aloy, it kind of felt like she changed the subject. I wonder if it's because she's a bit uncomfortable with displaying feelings overall, I guess? Yeah, I, I, she doesn't really know how to comfort people. She can barely comfort herself. What better way to get rid of these uncomfortable feelings by changing the subject and just talking about the signal again? Oh wow, that's... That is far. That's far. Okay, sure. I'll I'll be sure to remember to do that. Ah, you're me. You want me to go back and climb the tower again, don't you? And then the base. Okay. Hey, but if Silga can find some fragments of old world messages, I wonder without having a focus, what's the limit of how much you can learn about the old world? Like, sure, we can't do anything holographic, but what about stuff like books, paperback books? A thousand years? Like some library, underground library. Maybe those records would still be around, right? Uh, we know everyone speaks English here now because everyone was born from a cradle or they were descended from a cradle. But what about written word? Do we use English written word? 
Because I'm just wondering if they found a library and found a book. Old world book. Could they read it? If Silga can get a fragment of a message here, then what's to say that people can't learn what Operation Enduring Victory is? Is this easy? Sunken caverns, which means ignore. Just ignore it. Forget it. Ooh, it seems like there might be a lot of green shine here, though. But yeah, now is not the time. I bet it's gonna be, you know, we're missing something, so forget it. Okay. Wanna go back down? Ruins, and then, you know, hit some more question marks on the way, and then I guess we might be doing Poseidon first then, which makes sense anyway, because, you know, I wanna get in the waters and all that. Sure. Well, look at that. Uh, or not. Yeah, or not. Let's go down. Continue heading down. Forget about the quest for now. The quest, we'll set it to this one. Beautiful. Finally nighttime, a little bit cooler. Looks like an Osram camp, but where is everyone? My focus might show me more. I don't know what you're looking at, Aloy. They really... I don't know... Like, this system that they've implemented for giving hints, I feel like is... I mean, it, it needs a lot of work. A lot more work, clearly. I understand the intent behind it, but I don't even see a camp right now. Like, what are you talking about? Get the impression that they didn't really... Mm, I'm guessing they didn't have time to really polish up the ending bits. Taking a game from good to great, that level of polish takes a lot of time, and I don't think they were allowed it. Yeah, so I have no idea what Osram camp they were talking about, unfortunately. I guess I'll just keep going down to... the camp, then. Was it an awesome room camp here? No, it's just a campfire. Ah, <sighs> but knowing that we were near something, but not not knowing where exactly kinda kinda irritates me. That's yeah, this is where we saw Silga. Ah, we'll we'll figure it out sometime. I'll go down here. Yeah, and then we'll go down here, and then go down here, go down there. But unless if there's a specific reason we want to hit the machine sites, I guess whether we see them or not is not, like, a um, huge issue. I don't think we've gone the resource from the spike snouts yet, but it's all, it might be okay. I don't want to spend too much time pre-collecting. Night time. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I wish we could see more than one thing at a time. Like sometimes I want to find something, I gotta um, press it like a million times just to find it. Campfire. Oh, 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 oh. Oh god, oh god. Horned lizard! Skin. We need bone. Oh, they're looking for me. We have scorpions here. What the hell is that? Oh, not again! No, I, I can't. You're too high level for me. I wish I could, but now... N not now. Later. I need more lizards! Give me a lizard. Can I activate this at least? Wait, there's not even a sight here! There's just a random thunderjaw here, what the heck? Okay. I'll take a look. Any drones here? No, just... Whoa, okay, no. No, thank you. 
Thank you. I need horned lizards. That's one camp. So this uh this building here, this could be interesting. Right here. Definitely something old worldy. We can't get in. Let me climb it. Uh, I think we can. Oh, it's so pretty. How do I go further? This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. What? Already? Over here. Trying to figure out my next steps here. Oh, maybe like up there? Mmm, I, I can't really move forward anymore here. Um... Yeah, there's certain climbable- oh, there's a- oh, okay, there's a hook. Sometimes you just gotta change your perspective. Yeah, for some reason I can't see it very well from here. But you won't climb! Will you climb? Oh god. Actually, it doesn't- the closer I got to it, the, the hook point, the circle, didn't appear. It only appeared when I was far away. That's sort of the... Problem as well. There we go. Oh, maybe like an observation tower, huh? Probably maybe people familiar with Las Vegas might know what this place is. Are we gonna see some gift shop toys, keychains? What the hell is that sound? Lizards? Scorpions? Cappuccino Clash event! Bet big on the Cappuccino Clash of the Century! This Saturday at the Vodka Hotel and Casino. Columbia Coffee Plantation Lots 5223 through 5300. Some of the richest plantations in the Paisa region are in contest. And the Fresh Grounds USA and Grassed Limited Swiss drone fleets are gearing up for a true rumble in the jungle. Place your wagers by 11.59.59 a.m. And don't forget to make reservations for flight deck seats that grant you a pilot's view of the action. Two drink minimum for all attendees. Flight deck? Is that what this place is? A flight deck? Reduce the rubble now. Still amazingly standing here is the more positive way to look at it. That's glowing. That's glowing. Interesting. It's pretty. Oh? Oh, gigantic green shine thing. Let me up. Let me up. Aloy, what? Just go up. <laughs> slab, a slab of green shine. Nice. A deposit of green shine. <laughs> sweet. Oh, not sweet. Don't even look over there. Fire bristlebacks. Uh, this might be a blockage. Oh, there's a black box here. Okay, so maybe let's try to walk over here. Salvage contractor! Okay. Sure. In that general direction? Hopefully not pissing anybody off. Lots of ruins here, actually. Might be worth walking through.
Sometimes you walk through these ruins and it's just so humbling. The people, people built these gigantic things. Oh my god, go away. Go away. Yeah, oh, some of the glass. Is that glass remaining here or is that just some other... No, it's, it's metal. Oh, the green shine makes noise, right? I can hear the, the green shine. That helps. Hey, Eloy. Listen. Hey! Or just get up here, if that would work. Don't think it does, though. Oh, over here. The rising sun. Perfect. We're finding a prize. Uh... Can I move this over more? Spellcaster won't work on that. I feel like I can't really reach that. Oh, oh. There we go. Thank you for being noise. Oh! Oh. My god. Thank you. Thank you. And there you go. There's something there. What cauldron did you come from? It could show me how to override. <laughs> oh, dude! Dude! Calm down! I just came here to pick- okay, vertical shock trap. Do you want to try like just putting it down and seeing what it looks like or something? Because otherwise I'll probably like never ever look at this. Wow. Oh yeah, just break that, why don't you? Whoa, I'm dead, I'm dead! Is that a- what is that? A Glintalk? Oh, you guys are stronger than I remembered. Fire, right? Come on, come on. Actually, you guys are really weak. I just gotta hit you. I gotta deal with you. I can't just let you alone. Yeah, it's really weak. Whoa, look at another building here. Oh, just, just get it! Come on. Gaia said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here expose the elements. A lot of them are buried in the sand. Maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true. I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. We're here already. Oh wow! I didn't think we were so close. I still want to do the ruins first, if that's okay. And I mean, we gotta look around the buildings anyway. There's so much here. It's all still left here. Okay, let's use a... Yeah! How much does that even heal? I don't know. Oh, it gives an overheal, that's right. That's a nice part. Now, a girl just wants to read some data logs. Is that really so much to ask for? Donation offer. From Richard Velasquez to Micah Cadori. Cardori. Slot machine donation, March 12, 2052. Dear Miss Cadori, would the museum be interested in obtaining three slot machines impacted by the 2037 hot zone crisis? These machines, in operation at the Vodka Hotel and Casino at the time, had their electronics fried by the blast wave of the tragic explosion that ended the Battle of the Mojave. In my opinion, they symbolize the larger impact of the conflict, not only technically, but also culturally, 
as the environmental crisis and ensuing war nearly shut down Vegas for good. Vodka Holdings Limited would be happy to donate the machines to the museum and handle all shipping costs if you'd have them. Keep up the good work. Technical director at the Vodka Hotel and Casino. Oh, so there was a there was a museum here then. They collected artifacts that maybe showed stuff about the war. Okay, if we keep going that way, it's gonna be Poseidon. So maybe let's um let's try to go beyond it a little bit. <laughs> I can still try to get to that campfire. That's the ruins we want. Oh, these buildings are so well maintained. What the heck? That ruin looks a little more intact than some of the others out here. Could be the one that Osram Delver told me about. Might be worth taking a look inside. I I don't know which. <laughs> Oh, uh, the, the rumor. The rumor that we heard from Camp Nowhere. An awesome crew. They don't look too good. I should see if they're okay. They look like they're in a wreck. They always do. Never seen a storm like that in all my years. Oh no. Can I, uh, help you? Can I help you? I don't find green shine too often. We found three today, Aloy. We're gonna get through this. I promise. Now go get some rest. Do you need help? Wish I could say we've been through worse. But I doubt any salvager has had this much bad luck on a single expedition. Salvagers. You part of Karif's crew? Yes. Didn't think we were that well known. So you came here to make some armor. It doesn't look like things went according to plan. <laughs> you could say that again. I thought I had it made when we found some prime rollerback salvage out here. Then came the sandstorm, blew away most of our gear, and ran us right into a camp full of angry Tanakh. We fled, but by the time the storm died down, we found ourselves here with half our food gone, open to attack by machines and Tanakh alike. Sounds like you could use a hand. I'm Aloy. Runda. I can't ask you to help for free. How about I hire you to get us what we need? Draw up some contracts. Uh, you don't have to. Uh... Wouldn't be a proper salvager if I didn't. Won't take no for an answer. It's uh, Karuf's Salvage Company Unlimited. That thing, right? A continuation? Just accept all of them. You mentioned this place is exposed to attack. Is there anything you can use to set up a perimeter? We know there's a bellow back hanging around some ruins near here. Take it down without damaging its cargo sacks. What? We could use it to make new traps. Set up a cordon. I'll make it a contract. Sounds like a plan. We can't pop the sack? That's against my religion! You mentioned your people needed food. We lost most of it when we ran away from the Tanakh. But only a bristleback would be able to sniff it out underneath all that sand. That's not a bad idea. I'll look into it. Wait, what? To hear. Wait, what do you mean? You want to like override the bristleback or what? You said you lost your gear? Yes. Can't be sure where it is since that storm gave us the runaround. But I have a general idea. It's all in the contract. If you can get that gear back, We'd at least be able to set up camp properly. Make the crew comfortable. I'll take a look as soon as I can. Okay, so this time we managed to get all three contracts at the same time. We don't have to go and then come back and then go and then come back. So we'll just do all three and then come back one time. It's not much, but we have some salvage to trade. If you give me a nice outfit, I'd be happier. Hey, do I want this? Why do I have that mart? Do I have a job for it? I don't need anything. Well, thank you. Guess we could trade later. Thank you. Are they nearby? Oh no. Pristine Bellowback. Oh, uh, I want to read it when we actually do it. 
if that's okay. Right, we can craft this. Is it normal that we never run out of the basic supplies, Ridgewood and Wild Meat? It just feels like, at that point, we just go through the motions of collecting the stuff. Huh. I knew our luck would change eventually. My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. Great. Great, great, great. Ooh, what's behind that? A door! Okay, sure, we'll be back. There's also- Oh, it's beyond- Oh. The black box is inside. Somehow this grew right in front of it. Right in front. Fine. 